but we're going to stick with Juventus. Luca, I'll come to you. Um, Kev P is writing an article on this at the moment, but I'd like to get your thoughts on it as well. Do you think that in this new system, Mario Mandzukic is possibly even their most important forward, even more so than Dybala and Higuain, because the stuff he does and the shift he puts in defensively is brilliant. Recently, when they played Atalanta, he got man of the match and he was putting his face in the way of shots from 30 yards. He was not stopping at anything. He's a complete warrior. So do you think he is more important, if not just as important, as Higuain and Dybala? Um, perhaps not not quite Higuain. I, I don't know if he's kind of got that that sort of ability to just sort of, and that's Mark, uh, if he's got that, that sort of kind of just class to do it all by himself, yeah, that uh, Higuain does. But I think he's he's obviously the kind of uh, striker that I think a lot of, you know, your coaches would definitely love to have this just kind of, um, that, yeah, as you mentioned, that sort of workman-like quality because I think that's kind of been what's always got him going through his career, even at, at Bayern when they sort of were dominating. It was kind of his ability to just be the one who did all this work and I think perhaps one of the difficulties that Juventus had slightly at the start of the season was just um, when you've got all these kind of really big glamour players just how to put them all together into one team you know if you've got all this expectation and Gwain and Pjanic to just look wonderful with everything they do and um, just steamroll teams I think that that makes it quite difficult to you play with that degree of just oh we have to win and look good whereas perhaps Mandzukic as a player these attitudes never really been there it's always been to close down to block the ball to just throw himself at it to get in wherever he needs to be so yeah I think he's certainly the kind of player that is benefiting from how Juventus have sort of managed to evolve slowly despite adding all these glamour players he's kind of been revitalized as you know you normally talk of like defensive midfielders as kind of glue or whatever in a team that make everyone else look better but as a striker he is able to do that and I think he's key for that and it's sort of that he's kind of like a modifier who makes those around him look better and who are Dybala and Higuain don't really need that much help but any they can do can really make them out as well I t I'll tell you what kind of just following on from what you said, I can't agree more because it, particularly since they've moved to that 4-2-3-1, I, to me, Mandzukic, you know, he won't get the headlines, but he has been the most outstanding player in that formation for Juve. Um, his work rate is incredible. And I, I'm not, I, in the past, I haven't been a massive fan of his, but um, I, I really respect players that work hard. And it's similar to Ivan Perisic's role that I've seen in, in Inter this year, this season. He, um, he'll run up and down that left flank. And, you know, when, when on the counter, when the other team's on the counter, P Perisic will often beat um, some of the wide defenders back in defence. It's the central backs and then Perisic. And that's exactly the same that I see in Mandzukic. And um, probably not what I expected. I didn't kind of expect that kind of work ethic. And you, it's interesting. You, I was actually checking out the heat maps from the, from the matches when they play that formation. And you look at Mandzukic's heat map and then Quadrado's and Quadrado's is kind of just up, up in the, the offensive sector and Mandzukic just fall across that whole line. And it's quite significantly in the defensive side, which for a, a guy of his skills in attack is, you know, got to give it to him not only for working hard, but for actually do, doing it for the team. I'm sure that's not his most favoured position, but, you know, it's fair play to him. I think he's been outstanding. Yeah, it's funny compared to Quadrado, he defends a lot more given Quadrado has played as a wing back yeah. plenty of times, not only at Juventus, but at Fiorentina. And when he went to Chelsea, it looked like maybe that's where he would get used, but they never really played with wing backs in their system at the time. But um, yeah, no, Mandzukic, I'm with you. I'm, I haven't always been his biggest fan. He's a, he's a really ugly player to for lack of a better phrase, he, he gets about his business and he's not always pretty to watch, but he's, he is effective. And when a player works that hard for a team, you can't help but admire him. 